Hi everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys. Coming at you today with another straight out of storage. Straight out of storage. I should just fall to you for that. Straight out of storage uh, figure, and this is again out of my storage unit slash warehouse. And these are figures that haven't been touched in years, and I have not opened these uh, to check the contents. And I'm basically this is out of my personal collection. These are figure projects, stuff that's done, stuff that's finished, stuff that's not finished, stuff that could be finished, stuff that's in a box, and. Maybe it needs a new home, or maybe it needs to be upgraded and put back on the shelf. So, let's go ahead and show you what's what. Cue music. Ah. All right, so this is a good find. And anybody who's been doing this for a long time knows exactly which figure this is. Wow, this, is, this, is, this figure's got some stories, let me tell you. Um, so, this is the CCT, right? <laughs> the one we had a problem with. Was that the CCT? Yeah. Yeah. It was. So this is the Weekend of Heroes exclusive CCT. Microphone's coming off, but I'll fix that. But let's go ahead and show you everything that I have in this box. So you know that I was working on a project with this guy. But the Weekend of Heroes was a toy show down in California. And we did, I want to say, two or three, three of them. And we were one of the main vendors there. And Was it the Weekend of Heroes or the one six scale one that was at Frank and Sons? That's, uh... What was that one called? Because we did that one a couple years, too. Was that where this one was from? No. No? Mm -mm. Okay. So, anyway, this was a figure from the one six Expo. And, yes. this, and this was the CCT exclusive, and we were one of the only vendors at the show uh, to actually pre-sell this product. And they didn't actually have them in stock yet. We got, the, we got the prototype and we posted it at the show, and people could come by in person and sign up for it. And we basically ordered 150 units. Um, these were not delivered on time to us. And there was a whole huge customs issue uh, going on at the time where a lot of the action figures coming in were being taken by customs. And so people would sh have these huge shipments sent in and customs would go through them and they would take them and not give them back. <laughs> so basically they for copyright protection issues. And I remember these specifically because we sold so many units and we had so much like so many customers and we were the only place to get this thing and we ended up having all of the parts shipped in and we had to put them in the boxes Do you remember that mm -hmm. yeah and for all the figures so every pre-order that was sold we had to pack in the boxes because we had everything shipped in by air as far as loose parts and then we literally had hundreds of bags and we had to go through and put them back in the boxes and that's how you got one of these if you got it. <laughs> so it was a long drawn out process. Um, this looks to be a custom I was working on. So some of the parts have been upgraded. Uh, obviously there's some things that I would change on it right away. Uh, I just noticed out of the gate that uh, the magazines are, are upside down. So they need to be with the bullets down. Um, but all in all, this is a great base. So this, this jacket right here was super, super rare. The chest rig was super, super rare. The smirking sculpt was great. This was actually redone, and this was off of the uh, CIA SAD version 2, I want to say, from Soldier Story. And they redid the paint app and then re-released it on this figure, which was only, I want to say, 200 units worldwide, and we had like 150 of them. Uh, jacket was originally released on the PMC Instructor, uh, one of Soldier Story's first releases, one of the best jackets of all time. This, this figure is just one of the best made and one of my favorites of all time. Just be, not just because of the story of us having to go through so much crap to get this thing. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of heartache, a lot of, uh, a lot of problems, but we, we ended up making it, getting it done. So we can see that he has uh, obviously Soldier Story multi-cam pants with built-in knee pads. These right here, these trousers were freaking, and they still are probably the best made, hands down. Stitching's great, everything's great. The detail, the, the thickness of the fabric is so good. And I can't even like describe how good it is. Um, it's not nearly as thick as 90% of the stuff that's out there now. The older Soldier Story stuff, uh, really, really good. All their CCT line, really, really awesome. 
Um, and their PJ line was really great too. You can see the boots, these are foot type uh, with multicam. And then obviously I was thinking about switching them out for these. So these came on another release and I swapped these, which were the original ones that came on the figure. Um, and the figure also came with a SCAR rifle. And you can see that I was obviously trying to figure out which rifle we were gonna put with them. Um, this is an easy and simple uh, HK. This is the Mark 18, I believe from uh, Damn Toys. Uh, and then this right here was another easy and simple rifle. So I was obviously trying to outfit him properly. The original uh, gun that he came with was a Scar H, obviously with the larger magazines. So uh, you can see, obviously, I had a lot of, of intention to finish this guy. Um, I will finish this guy now that I found him again. But fantastic chest rig. Everything on the figure is just, it's just really awesome. And the smirk on the, uh, one of the head sculpt is one of my favorites of all time. But fantastic looking figure. Really, really good. So I'll actually finish that guy. And I have a multicam plate carrier here. Uh, does not have a pistol. So this is a Soldier Story pistol with a rail. These were really, really rare. Um, very hard to find. Uh, one of the best uh, Berettas made uh, to date still. ENS has come close with theirs, but this one is my favorite. And then obviously we have some other in sundry things here, but you can see kind of where I was going. I was just learning how to do radios really well. And obviously I will connect this properly and I'll probably re-show him again when I'm done. You can also see something super cool is this hand warmer in multicam. And those are super rare, very, very hard to find. And literally it's just a hand warmer. When you're cold, you stick your hands in it and it warms your bits. But all in all, fantastic find for me. Great, great figure. Uh, if you can ever pick one up, uh, definitely try to. 1-6 Expo, I believe, was the, uh, the show we did down in California. But if you like videos like this and you want to see more exclusive content like this guy, make sure that you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, and the bathroom wall to see more cool content like this guy.